I got this on eBay for about thirty bucks. Between Dang. us, we probably spent a grand on our. And, that, and that's water the thing, man. <laughs> So for this video, we're gonna dive into what we brought on the trip. And we each had our own bikes, we each had our own little build outs with gear, and we all packed a little bit differently. Uh, I think Thad probably had the most unique bike with his different side packs and mounts, and he probably spent the least amount of money on his stuff. So let's dive into that first. This is a Suzuki DRZ 400S. I got a uh, aftermarket four gallon IMS tank. I made a tank vest, set it up kind of like a uh, military mole vest, so I can buy any military mole attachments and hook it on anywhere I want. This is a magazine pouch. It holds three 16 ounce bottles of water perfectly. This is some other odd pouch I got. Keep extra batteries, camera batteries, small tools, anything I need, chargers, cables. I got a walkie talkie pouch that is perfect for a 20 ounce bottle. Another random pouch, just, you know, never know when you're gonna need duct tape or anything like that. And then this pouch here is another magazine pouch that I have a toe strap just in case I need it. I mounted my light bar with an old street sign. Came out pretty well. Stock light's great for running in the daytime. At nighttime, with the brights on, you can't see shit. This turns everything to daylight, I'd say at least 50 foot ahead of us. A seat cushion. Uh, I got this at Wally World. Certain Walmarts carry them, some don't. 20 bucks. Uh, last time I went on a trip, I didn't have this. And sometimes it was hard to sit down or walk. Then on my rear pack, uh, previous trip I did, I had too much crap with me. I had I got this on eBay for about 30 bucks. I think Andrew and I spent, uh, what? I know I spent. Between us, we probably spent a grand on our And, that, and that's the thing, man. <laughs> I got my clothes, sleeping bag, extra blanket, um, sleeping pad, everything's in here. Just shove it in there and go. And then uh, in this smaller waterproof bag here, I got my tent. And then I took a PVC pipe that I hooked up to a uh, rack. This rack here is actually a rack off of a Trail 90, Honda Trail 90. And I have it bolted onto the original um, DRZ rack, the stock one. And it gives me a lot more to hold on to. It's, this, this thing is great. I think I gave 20 bucks for it used on eBay. And then uh, I have the tent poles in here for my tent, stakes. So those are out of my way. Nothing's going to hurt them. Uh, I made this. I sewed this little guy together just like I did my tank vest for extra attachments, which is wonderful. So I got a big old boonie knife if I happen to need it. You never know. If you get hungry, you want to go get a moose for dinner, which it'll probably kill you before you get to it. <laughs> do, 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 do. Now that you got an idea of what our bikes look like, I want to talk about our bags and what we packed in them. I had the E12 Wolfman saddlebags. They have a combined capacity of 25 liters, which was plenty for me. Um, they're very simple to mount. You don't really need a mounting rack or anything like that. You just kind of sling it over your seat, hook it right near the back of your fender, and you're good to go. Um, these fastening systems were really quick and easy. Just some, uh, all it is is a couple buckles and you're in there and ready to go. Overall, they worked extremely well. My biggest complaint is the, uh, they're not waterproof. And so if you want to get these, I'd say either you line your stuff, the inside of it with a trash bag and then seal everything up that you're putting in there with it, or don't put anything that you're worried about getting wet in there inside or you can invest in some dry bags, pack your stuff in the dry bags, and then put them in there. That's probably the best way to go. So for me, I was able to fit in several days of food, plus my 232 ounce uh, Nalgene bottles and my Jet Boil, uh, and it fit fine. And on the other side, I threw in just my rain gear that I wasn't using, extra riding gear, my hiking boots, and then my dirty clothes. So that. That one I wasn't so worried about getting uh, a wet or anything like that. But overall, these were perfect to have. They balanced out great and they rode so well, I didn't even notice they were there. There was some concern that maybe that having it near the exhaust would kind of melt some of it, but it held up just fine and everything worked. 
Plus they have all these extra D-rings so you can mount it to the duffel which I have and you can hook different accessories on the side of it. So if it didn't have enough space for you, you can always add different things on there to make it work. For my big bag, I had the Wolfman Expedition Dry Duffel, which has a 40 liter plus capacity. Now this bag has several mounting systems. Um, it's all these quick release straps, which are extremely easy and versatile. Uh, it worked really well. You get a lot of straps to do different things. You could hook it straight to the bike. You could hook it to the saddlebags that I have, those E12 saddlebags, so you could pull it all off in one giant piece. But I wanted to keep this separate because I knew that I would need to pull this off in order to get to my Rotopack to fill up with gas. So the easier I could get this off, the better. Now, I was able to fit all my like camping gear in here, which was my tent, my sleeping pad, my sleeping bag with the pillow, and I, my camping chair that I brought along, as well as all of my clothes, because this bag is waterproof. And I wanted to make sure that everything that I was gonna be changing into that was clean was dry. And I was able to fit all of this in here. It was a little bit bubbling over, but you know, that's what that 40 liter plus is for you and it worked great. It wasn't top heavy or anything like that. The weight held itself real fine and it was always secure. So I thought this bag was probably the best piece that I had. It was so easy to pull off, go set my tent up, just throw it in there with all my clothes, have everything in one spot. It was amazing. So on my tank, I had the Enduro tank bag, which has a capacity of six liters. Um, it's very simple strapping it on and getting it off, and I still had access to my uh, gas tank, which was great. And then I also put my phone and any maps we had. And then I threw like little things in there, snacks, um, my wallet, things like that, that I really wanted to get to quickly. But it was great. Six liters is plenty to have on your tank. It didn't get in the way and it held just enough stuff. I was very pleased with it. My day pack was the Marmot Compressor Plus 20 liter bag. Um, this was great, real lightweight. It's not waterproof, but at the same time while we're riding, I'm taking the majority of the rain. This was just kind of like in the shadow of my body, not getting really hit, but I didn't really keep anything in there that was gonna get wet, and if I did, I'd put my raincoat over it if I wasn't wearing it. But yeah, I thought this was great, plus it folds down into this little compact size, like that. For my riding gear, I had some Alpine Star boots. Uh, a 7 motocross helmet, I had some a fly racing jersey, fly racing motocross pants, a pair of Thor riding gloves, and then a pair of Spy motocross goggles with clear inserts and then also tinted inserts. All three of us had these Mad Dog seat pads because dirt bike seats aren't the most comfortable thing in the world and KTM seats are known for being pretty bare bones. So we grabbed these from Walmart. I think they were like 20 bucks, but they definitely helped with riding. I wouldn't say we're the best thing in the world, but they definitely made our lives a little bit better when it came to riding over 1,600 miles. Since my gas tank is stock and it's not that big, I think it's either 1.75 or two gallons. It could be even 1.5 gallon stock tank. I decided to get the Rotopax 1.75 gallon tank which this was nice to have. It's not the smallest thing in the world, not the lightest thing in the world, but when you're running out of gas and the next gas station's 40 miles away, this is something that you definitely need to have. I would say invest in getting yourself a bigger tank, an aftermarket tank. Thad was riding the DRZ 400 and he had a four gallon tank and didn't have to worry about carrying anything like this. Andrew never got a chance to record himself talking about his bags or the things that he packed. But if you go and check out that Trail Day 7 video, we share our opinions on the dry spec bags, the Wolfman bags, and the Roto packs we had. And that's it. I don't know what else to say. Other than... Go watch us ride on our dirt bikes with this gear that we had and see what did and didn't work.